The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi team, Bill Gilliland here. Today we're going to talk about how to grow businesses. And the number one way to grow business is to grow entrepreneurs. So we're going to talk today about actually the steps that we need to take as business owners to climb the entrepreneur's ladder. Later on, I'll tell you where to go if you'd like to get some help climbing that ladder, if you'd just like to learn a little bit more about what we do at Action Coach. So the question for today is what actually keeps businesses from growing? So what I'd like for you to do is pause your video just for about 20 seconds and write down the top three things that you believe keep businesses from growing. So welcome back. I, here's what I think the top three business things are that keep businesses from growing. One is I don't believe that business owners know how to grow businesses. They don't know the path and they don't know the steps along the path to get businesses to grow. I know certainly in my first business, I just was out doing the business. I didn't really have a set plan or know the path to get my business to grow. Secondly, I don't think they know which way to go. In other words, they don't know which strategies and which tactics to pick to, that are more most likely to make them more successful. Thirdly, at least what I find in my clients is a lot of them are just too busy. They're just working in the business all day long, doing, 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 making it all happen to stop and take the time to plan for growth. And I think there's also a fear out there that, hey, I'm the, I'm the guy. If I slow down, then the business might you know, lose traction. I might lose business. I'm, you know, I'm the driver. i got to make it happen. So there's a fear out there that they need to be have their hand in every single thing in the business or they might lose the business or lose business. What I do know about my clients and business owners that I talk to is that they, what they want is a clear path, you know, step by step on how to get there. They want the clear steps that can get them to that vision. And they eventually want to create a business that works without them. So our definition of a, of a business in Action Coach is a commercial profitable enterprise that works without you as the business owner. In other words, we create a business that actually works as a business. And in order to do that, we've got to work on ourselves as business owners first. So that's where I want to go next. I want to talk about the entrepreneur's ladder. And there's actually seven rungs on the ladder. And uh, one of them is not showing here. So we've got seven rungs on the entrepreneur's ladder, which are the same six steps of owner evolution that we need to have. So level zero is as an employee. Well, there's actually a level minus one, which is a student, being a student. At first, as a student, you pay people for education. Then from student, we move to employee, where we actually get paid for work and to learn. So we actually have someone paying us to learn. That's how we that's one of the main reasons to become an employee so that we can learn. And the other reason is to, to get some money together so that we can go into business for ourselves. Now what we do after we become an employee, then we become self employed on the path to becoming a business owner and an entrepreneur. So that, so we become self employed and what self employed looks like is a seesaw where we're doing everything in the business. We're the janitor, we're the salesman, we're the accountant, we're the marketing person. You know, we're, we're doing every single thing in the business as a self-employed person. At least, and, and we feel that we need to do everything in the business because we want to be in control of everything. And so what happens is we go out and we sell a bunch of work, and then we have to come in and do the work, and then we sell the work, and then we do the work. So we look like a seesaw. And what we end up with is inconsistency as a self-employed person a long time. Now, from self-employed, we realize, oh, I need to hire a few people, or I need to outsource my accounting, or I need to hire an assistant, or and all of a sudden we have employees, and then we become a manager. And what a manager generally looks like in business is a juggling act, where we're 
we're juggling sales and we're talking we're juggling our accounting we're juggling our marketing we're juggling our operations we're juggling our manufacturing we're juggling our service whatever we're doing we're running around a lot of times solving the problems that the people that supposedly work for us have created so to become a good manager we have to develop systems in the business that allow us to move up now from manager then we become an owner, and that's where we really sort of give up the day-to-day -day piece of the business. As a true business owner, and we have people that are responsible. We have systems in place. We've built the team. We have marketing in place. We have all the pieces of the business in place where we can evolve into being an owner of a business. And from owner, then we become an entrepreneur. And an entrepreneur, this an owner generally has one business. An entrepreneur generally has either they've started multiple businesses or they have multiple businesses at one time. And generally, we, we at this point, a lot of times we're using other people's money to make money. And from an entrepreneur, then we become an investor where we invest in, in generally three things, businesses, real estate, and then paper assets. So you can see that there's actually a set path that we need to go through. Now, we can own businesses at any place on there. We can, we can actually have... A lot of this comes back to our mentality. You can have an employee mentality and still own a business if you feel like you know, if, if, if that's what you're employed for. You can have a self-employed mentality and still own a business uh, with multiple people working for you. But if you feel like you're self-employed, then you feel like you have to have your hands in everything. As a manager, you begin to think, you know, how can I, you know, how can I get my team to do the work for me? And as an owner, then how can we employ better managers? As an entrepreneur, then how can we employ division managers to run our businesses for us and then as an investor then how can we find some of the great entrepreneurs that we can back and can get a great return on our money so that's the path you move from student to employee to self-employed to manager to owner to entrepreneur to investor and that's the six steps of owner evolution and that's the entrepreneur's ladder so here's the question where are you on the ladder and second part of the question is, where do you want to be? And what's the gap? What needs to happen? So do you need to think your way into a new way of acting, or do you need to act your way into a new way of thinking? I think they both will work as you move up to the ladder. So I hope you've enjoyed understanding the entrepreneur's ladder. If you'd like help, Climbing up the ladder, becoming a better manager, owner, entrepreneur, or just to learn a little bit more about taxing coach and or working with me, just shoot me a quick email. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you got out of this, out of this uh, understanding what the ladder is, where you are, and where you'd like to be. Just shoot me a quick email at William Gilliland at actioncoach.com. We'll set up a short 15 minute call and have a bit of a chat with you. Or just check us out at www.ashevillebusinesscoach.com. And, you know, we have some cool stuff out there. We have videos. We have some tools. We, you can register for our next free webinar, or you can register for our million-dollar business builders intensive. The next one is coming up. So we'd love to see you at one of our events or see you on a webinar. I'd love to chat with you personally. Whatever suits you, we'd love to connect with you. Uh, please connect with me on LinkedIn. It's just, it's just Bill Gilliland. We'd love to to have a chat with you out there. So I'd like to leave you with one last thought. Where you'll be in five years will depend on the books you read, the people you associate with, and the actions you take. There's a reason our company is called Action Coach. It's not, I'd like to think about it, coach, or I'd like to lollygag around with it. It's about taking action. So what I'd like for you to do is, is think about where you are on this ladder and where you'd like to be, and I'd like you to come up with at least a couple of actions that are going to help you move to the next rung. I'd love to hear from you. Shoot me an email. Give me a call. Let me know what you're doing to, to move yourself up the ladder. In the meantime, get out there and take action.